good going out there in the outback. Now, from one of the most desolate places in the world to the most populous country in the world. Welcome back to the 16th episode of a nostalgia playthrough of Raylo Tycoon 2. This time we're taking on China here and the people's train. Now, as per usual, we do have three options, and uh, in my experience, or in my opinion, I would say, um, plus 10% passenger mail revenue is the way to go here. Minus 20% track maintenance, I don't think it's really gonna cut it on this one. Plus 20% st uh, station profit, I don't think that's gonna cut it either. Now the thing is, uh, I'm gonna be operating mainly passenger and mail on this um, the scenario here anyway. Uh, so the added bonus nice of that. Nice day, isn't it? Nice cool breeze, nice birds, nice if you get started already. All right. All right. So, what I was saying is that if you have plus ten passenger on mail revenue, right, you can get plus forty five percent boost to passenger from station buildings. So if you add uh, another twenty percent onto that, that would add up to. The way I understand it, 9% boost in addition to the uh, station profit boost you already have going. Uh, so that would be plus 9% to passengers and passengers alone. This gives you one more percent then and the mail revenue. Plus, this actually gives you plus 14.5% if you fully deck out your stations. Due to the 45%, you get 10% on that as well. Right, okay, well, uh, he's got a point. Enough of that. Let's get to the scenario. Strange how these quiet hills could hide such chaos. The Chinese Civil War is now over, and the People's Republic wants you to fix up that raggedy rail system of theirs. Crops are going bad in the fields, and the nation's exports are suffering without any good transportation in place. Not a lot to work with either, so you'll need to be very resourceful. I know you can do it though, and the People's Republic will be most grateful. I hope they will, because this will be the fourth time I'm attempting this uh, scenario. Or well, not really attempting it, I've actually made the gold requirements three times, but just before, it seems to be like the game has had some issue with like when I get the gold medal it just crashes. So I had to redo it, and every time I redo it, it just crashes. So I reinstalled the game, and maybe the fourth time is the charm, and I can actually finish this damn scenario. Because, if I'm honest, I don't really like this scenario to begin with. And having to play it over and over and over again, it's not really making me want to play this game very much. So I'm hoping that I can finally just be done with it now, when I actually finish it. Either way. The chaos that engulfed China in the 1930s came to a violent halt when all Chinese factions united to fight off Japanese expansion in World War II. Now, at the war's end, China's long civil war is over. The communists have won. As Chairman Mao, you must rebuild the tattered rail system. Your goal is to rebuild a key part of the People's Republic? Its rail system. Build the rail system. Could you say rail system a little bit more, please? Could, could you put it in another sentence as well? Just, <laughs> either way, I'm a bit salty over this scenario, not gonna lie. To a book value, equity of 10 million by the end of 1972 for bronze win. For silver, reach 20 million by the end of 1967. To truly prove yourself and the people's railway, reach 40 million by the end of 1962. So we have 13 years to get a company equity of 40 million. And now, if things look a bit different here, like, oh, that's a pretty weird look on these farms and the industry and, and everything. That's because, for some reason, the view is rotated and this is how it normally is. So we're going to be playing it like this. Now, there's a few things with this map here. And one of them is we're just going to start off actually with uh, issuing some bonds. You can't issue stock because it's a state-owned company running. And uh, we have a manager here with 10% uh, cheaper station building and station revenue 5% higher. And the other ones here are useless at the moment. But we can change later to something that's more suitable. Changing around the managers a little bit can be quite good on this uh, specific scenario here. Uh, if you look around the map, there is quite a few decrepit tracks around, like that aren't really going anywhere. I mean, they are going places, but it's not really places you want to be. 
Except for maybe a few, like you can maybe make something work here. Just set up some passenger uh, back and forth and just kind of leave it going. Like one train or something. And we might do that, although I think honestly we won't. Um, we don't need to. We could, and it could be good. Arguably it's a bad thing to just remove this rail here. But I will be doing that so that we don't pay the upkeep of the rail. And there's a lot of this, but we'll get to that. That isn't the first priority. The first priority is to get some profitable routes going. Now, we have a steam engine right there. That I'm just gonna retire. I don't want to deal with it. Screw that. We got these towns here connected. Not the best uh, towns to have connected just yet. Uh, but we do have Beijing here. Which we can also connect. And we will do that. And, uh, well, the way I've been doing it on my previous, uh, goes at it, I've uh, been connecting Huainan to Beijing initially, and that's what we're going to do this time as well. Just, uh, straight up like that. Get a station going here, medium one should do. Yeah, that encompasses the entire, uh, station there. And then we just get a couple of trains going. Now, I've played around with a bit of the different trains, so I had a uh, more in-depth look at my previous attempts at getting this uh, episode going. But I think the diesel trains are the ones that uh, are best for this. I I'm specifically thinking about this, but the thing is, uh, it's a pretty long train, and your track can get a bit clogged in this scenario. However, it's got fast acceleration and above average reliability, and I noticed this one quickly has like a 15% chance of breakdown every year. Uh, at least on a hard difficulty that I'm playing on. Uh, and this one, significantly less than that. So I will be going with this because it's slightly longer, but if you have this train breaking down in the middle of the track, that's going to be a lot worse than having a train that is like a car longer or something. And, you know, it's just nah. So we, we go for this, basically. And we uh, get one running from Beijing to Huainan. And we just uh, smack on everything that we can to make some profit. And then we get one running from uh, Huainan to Beijing. And same procedure here, slap on everything we can for profit. Now we have 119,000 uh, left over here. And with that we are going to just get a sanding tower on each one of these stations. I think that's uh, what we'll start off with there. We could have actually had a roundhouse, but it's whatever. We don't really need a roundhouse immediately. And uh, I also want to have a halfway point station around here also with a sanding tower. Like maybe right after the bridge or something. Which we need to upgrade to a better bridge as soon as we can. Because it is uh, quite a garbage bridge. And uh, yeah, we're going to get to removing some of the track. But first, let's run some trains, get some profit, and get some money to actually be spending on doing exactly that. Now, one of the key things you want to be considering on this map is to, to get gold in 13 years. Can be a bit challenging. And uh, what you gotta do is just expand, 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 expand. Never stop expanding, basically. So the dividend has been uh, put to zero, which is good. We don't want to pay anything out to the... Uh, Shareholders anyway on this one. It's just wasted money and I usually go in the negatives when I start the scenario anyway, so And there we go. They didn't have to compete for the bridge. Perfect The Swainan train is seemingly going a lot faster than the Beijing train is Like a lot if we go in here, if I just check it real quick, five cars versus six, hmm. Nah, I don't know, it shouldn't be that much slower. It doesn't entirely make sense to me why this is so slow. But, we're in Beijing. New speed record, Beijing Bullet, economy forecast going prosperity, we gotta pick up the correct thing, sir. Which is, uh, three passenger and a dining car. And then we can have Wainan here, we'll pick up, um, all that we can. Maybe slow down the game speed a little bit, because there's a few things I want to do. We'll have a roundhouse there and a sanding tower. 
just to begin with, and then we're going to start deleting track. Because I'm not going to be utilizing any of this. I just want the main line. I don't want to micromanage smaller rail networks across the map. It's like a big fat no thanks uh, to that for me. So I'm just going to scour through the map here a little bit so we find everything. Now, when deleting these tracks, uh, you can kind of cut your costs in half. I mean, it doesn't really cost that much. It's a thousand to bulldoze, but, or bulldoze, but still. If you go one by one by one by one, it's going to cost you more. But if you if there's a end track here, and you delete the next track over, this track won't really have like a second point that it's going to, so it will also disappear. And if you do it that way, you can save some money. Marginal savings, but uh, I mean, it could be... It could make the difference so you get something a little bit faster than you otherwise would have. But it's a marginal. Like, it's not really a very valuable tip or anything. It's just... That's how it is. So, yeah. Make of it what you will, basically. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff here to remove. Um, now the thing is, we want equity value, right? And and all these rails here, they add to our equity value. Uh, but the thing is, I've done a little bit of a quick top of my head math on it. And if you delete these tracks, then it will make up for it uh, in like 10 years. Right, so if you plan on beating this with for gold in less than 10 years, I guess keep the tracks, but since that can't always necessarily be done, although you shouldn't aim to take much longer than that due to the 13-year uh, limitation you have. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm just deleting them. And uh, that seemingly is the best way to do it financially. Unless you want to use them, of course, which you can. You can expand on these tracks and make them profitable if you want to, but I just don't want to. It isn't necessary. But, if you can be bothered, then it is a good thing to do. Potentially. Personally, I don't care that much. And uh, we're going to start deleting these tracks over here, like these random bridges we're just not going to be using. as a single track wooden bridges, and I'm not a huge fan of those. And in fact, we have enough money now to upgrade the uh, bridge on our main line over here. To a stone bridge, so that trains can pass it in full speed. And next to each other, so there won't be any stoppages there. Now another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all this stuff here as I don't plan to operate any trains there just yet. Uh, Sushu over here. We'll delete the station. Maybe we'll leave the track like this. Could possibly connect the train up here, but the thing is you kind of want to run trains between cities that are of equal size to one another. And we have um, cheaper station buildings right now, which is good. It's only like, what, 10%, 5%? It's not much, but when you buy a station building, you will still add the full price of that station building to your equity value. So there's a few thousand to be earned in equity value when you use the starting manager. We're just going to get a roundhouse in uh, Huainan, and then we're going to let our trains run a little bit. As we uh, wait to get some more money. And possibly we want a third train on the tracks as well. And we cannot issue any bonds for that, so we'll we'll wait and see. Like three or four trains running between Beijing and Huainan, maybe. People's railway stock is split four for one. If you don't sell the tracks and waste a lot of money on that, you can, uh, like I've had it go 12 for one in the first year. Uh, Rest are highly annoyed, and I just do not care. We made 1.2 million revenue, which ain't the worst that I've been doing in my attempts, so. I wouldn't necessarily call them attempts, because I've actually been successful, it's just the game has royally screwed me. By crashing. 
every single freaking time. So we got, I don't know, station building 10% cheaper. It's not really that much cheaper. Station revenue 5% higher, though. That could be good. Train speed 10% faster. Track, I mean, everything here is, yeah, sure, it could be useful. We're just going to stick with the manager that we already have. And we'll take it from there. So for some reason, this track, this train seems to move a lot faster than the other one. Like, is it set up differently? I mean, the throttle is the same. Okay, I mean, right now it has less cars, but... Um, uh, it makes a huge difference, apparently. No, now this one's going faster. Uh, either way. Uh, and why not here? We're going to be picking up um, a full load. And what I want to do is start expanding the um, infrastructure on the various stations. One Korea. Civil War in Korea. North Korea to receive aid from China. Steel revenue to increase by 75%. I don't particularly care because we are not operating with steel. Now I want to show you something as soon as we're done with this Beijing train here. For the moment, mail is more profitable than passenger, but once we start getting the uh, station buildings up and running, this will change. So we have a million to go around. We could repay our bonds, I suppose, but let's not do that just yet. Uh, what I wanted to show you is the uh, income here. If you look at track maintenance, it's already uh, 4 million and 4.2 million. Last year we had 3.7 million in track maintenance expenses. That's not true. That's a bug or something. I don't know. You delete all the tracks and then this happens. Uh, it would be a lot lower if we didn't delete the tracks. So there's something is wrong here. This is an incorrect number. It adds to the uh, income and all, but... Uh, this is at like 5 million-ish around before you start deleting the tracks. But the thing is, now we don't pay every year like uh, 2.5 million or like 250,000 or something per year for the tracks and the stations. And um, yeah. No, it's going to be more than that actually. So look, you definitely make more in 10 years than you make from like if you just have those tracks around for the equity value. Your equity value long term will be higher if you sell those tracks. That's basically what I'm getting at. Um, and that being said, let us get some uh, infrastructure going. We're going to get telephone poles. We're going to get large restaurants, saloon, post office, large hotel. And, uh, yeah, that's it. This will give us a total boost of 45% to passenger income, and stuff will happen faster on the stations and whatnot. So, it's going to be nice. Um, let's also do the same here. Saloon, post office, uh, not custom house, but uh, large hotel, and we'll throw in a round house as well for good measure. And on the halfway point there, we already have a round house, so we're good. And uh, yeah, now passenger uh, revenues will increase by 45%. So actually now it would have made sense to just fully load passengers. Which we will do more than we will uh, run mail in the future. But for now, let's just leave it as it is. We're going to be making good money anyway. Can we actually issue some bonds right now? No, we cannot. Okay, that's unfortunate. We should get more trains on this uh, track here ASAP. But at least now these stations are fully set up to just... Gush in cash. Nah, but yeah, I do want another train at the very least running this line here. Huh? Either way, we're about to hit up Beijing, and if you notice, this 778,000. We're gonna be making more than that, though. Not all of that is passenger income, but we'll be closer to a million. Not much in Beijing right now. We'll run dining and a couple of passenger cars. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, a million-ish. Maybe a little bit more, actually. Some international traders have offered to make available to you retired steam engines at 45% of the normal cost. No more steam. We'll pass that. I'm over it. All right, second year, 2 million revenue. And it is about time that we start quickly shooting off that revenue number right there. Uh, this train's about to hit why none. And... Uh, before we expand, I just want this to hit Huainan. Right, and in Huainan, we pick up this, change that for dining. We're going to micromanage the 
first four trains do we get, as per usual. And we're gonna get another train going from Beijing. Full passenger load, that's where the money is now. Now that we have uh, our stations decked out. And uh, now I could... I could repay the bonds right now, but we're better off getting a train on the tracks. So, uh, where do we go next, is the question. And... Another thing. You might want to just like get trains or tracks running across here and there and everywhere. It, they will add to your equity value. And also they will help you to alleviate or alleviate, or however you say that word, uh, some of the pressure on your various tracks. So that you don't have them flooding, clogged by trains that are stopping each other. Which is a uh, actual concern you should uh, have in mind. Now we're going to be counting a little bit on buildings. So in Wuhan, the COVID outbreak center, we have eight buildings. In uh, Tianjin, we have uh, nine. So okay, I think we can run trains between uh, between those two cities. Let me just see where I can get a large station up and running. And uh, yeah, like around there, that's good. We can just run the tracks uh, by here. That should do the trick, and just get a large station up, like that, um, yeah, that gets it all, so there we go, Tianjin is connected, and we're now going to swing by to Wuhan, uh, let's see, we could try to get the gradient good, but it doesn't really matter that much in this scenario, I think this is okay, and our further cities there, like Yuanyang, for instance, we can connect something up there uh, in the future, but for now, let's not. And in fact, hopefully a medium station will... A medium station will not do her. That's fine. Um, <laughs> I did this poorly. Okay, we, we need to connect the cross with a bridge and then take it from there. Then a medium station might suffice. Yeah. Okay. Well, either way, it's uh, it's whatever. We wait for another train to hit the station, and then we uh, start running trains there as well. So game speed four should do. Our trains are pretty quick at the moment. Uh, probably could pay off in the future to build a track out here, so that this tra these trains here don't swing by here, and just just try to have more tracks later on. Um, that your trains can kind of split up between, so you don't overload one stretch, and then you have a breakdown, and your gold medal goes out the window. Just something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, in Huainan, there's not much to load up on now, but we'll take what there is. And uh, we can actually get a new train going, so let's just do that real quick. Uh, Tianjin has a lot of passenger available. We go from there first. And... Well, we'll see. Train 1 suffered a breakdown. That's fantastic. What is the breakdown chance per year? Uh, quite high on that one for whatever reason. Well, I mean, obviously it did break down. So what I want to do is, before this train reaches Wuhan, I would like to get uh, station buildings in place in Wuhan. As it, um, well, it will nearly nearly add 50% to the profits. Let's see, however, what do we have here now? It's the same manager, so uh, we just stick with what we have. This train's about to reach Wainan, bring us a uh, good amount of money there. And, let's see... With that, we're going to run another train the other way. From Wuhan to Tianjin. We'll run it like this, and we're probably going to not micromanage more than maybe three trains. We'll just set up this route here, uh, like quotation mark, automated. Either way, let's go for a large restaurant, saloon, post office, we might as well, and a large hotel here. Maybe get a roundhouse, everything we can afford really, and a tele telephone poles. So, we should get a sanding tower as well, but uh, we can wait, it's fine. And, uh, yeah. 
So when this train uh, here hits, it will make us uh, uh, over a million. Good, good and well over a million. Unfortunately, this train here broke down and it's now holding up traffic going to Beijing, which is going to mess with our flow of things a little bit. Finally, it has started moving again. Right, so I'm gonna keep my eye on that train, I suppose. Anyway, we're about to hit Beijing. There we go, we're in Beijing, and there is a uh, bunch of stuff to take. We're just gonna take it all, and then the next train's gonna come by, and it's not really gonna be able to take that much with it, but it's fine. So, in Tianjin, we also uh, get the infrastructure going. Now yeah, we can wait for one more train to hit so we can just buy it all in one go. So I should be looking at this stretch for now, I think. So I can see when that train comes in. Now, uh, the spacing between trains is uh, of an annoying nature. Wow, it had a breakdown. Do I not have a... Uh, I have a roundhouse right there. Either way, we can uh, go for telephone poles, large restaurant, saloon, post office, sanding tower, and roundhouse. What am I missing here? Large hotel. There we go. Full station uh, builder. And now this thing's slowing us down. That's fantastic. Cure for polio. Polio vaccination program started in cities across China. Expect rice and passengers in the next six months. Okay, cool. If we could have a rise of uh, trains not breaking down as well, that would be great. Because this is really fucking with our profits. Now we're in Wuhan. Well, there isn't too much to pick up. We're just going to micromanage this train for now. But yeah, we, we made a cool crisp a million and then some though, so... Uh, we're in good shape, and the other train is uh, pretty close to Tianjin right now. But let's think about expanding something else into our system here now. Uh, let's see. So, Xia... Xia Shuang. Four, five, six, seven, eight houses. Where else do we have eight houses or something close to that? The six, sir. Uh, there's seven in Hefe. Uh, I do want to run some longer holes than that, I think, actually. Uh, but let's just connect those two. It's uh, it's good. It's fine. So we just uh, stretch the rail out, get a medium station going. Make sure it's all connected and good. And then we uh, connect up Xiai Shuang. I'm probably butchering these Chinese names because I do not speak Chinese and I have no idea how to hell to say these things. Or say these city names, but uh, yeah, that is what it is. Uh, I might have overextended the tracks though a little bit more than necessary, but we'll get a station out there and delete a few tracks. Right, like that, and then we get another train on... Uh, on here, and then uh, we'll do this, and just have it run like that in all stations. Uh, train number five here is about to hit Yanying. And we'll just have that run uh, like this, all stations. Just we don't have to micromanage it, we can still micromanage train four, I suppose. Which will give us a little bit of an indication every time it hits the station how we're doing on the, uh, on the track here. But if we could also get a track extended out here, that wouldn't hurt necessarily. I mean, it would because we'd have to pay maintenance for it, but uh, yeah, oh well. So we're just going to wait for some more money to roll in, and then we're going to get uh, more trains on this line here. And also, um, yeah, there we actually got some more money rolling in. So let's start with uh, Hefe and get the uh, infrastructure in place there. Uh, post office, sanding tower, roundhouse, large hotel, boom, there we go, we're ready to go. And then we wait for more, uh, more trains to roll in. This should roll in with a good profit now, crisp and clean, made over a million, fantastic. 
And then we do a telephone pole, large restaurant, saloon, post office, uh, sanding, large hotel, roundhouse, and power. There we go. And since I'm in a good mood, uh, we could pay back some uh, bonds. But let's just not, actually. Uh, maybe we should. There's not much going on in uh, Hefe. Many places don't really have much going on right now. Uh, I think we can run another train between Huainan. No, because then that's going to be in like a whale position. Okay, we'll just have that on no station for now. Where is this train? It's leaving for Tianjin. Okay. Okay. We'll go. We'll go. Blah, 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 blah. Good, good speak there. Much, much English. Uh, no new managers, which is pretty much what I care much uh, most about. Made uh, pretty much double revenue from last year. There we go. Now there's some uh, passengers in Hefe. So we just run a full passenger only train, I suppose. Uh, going on that route. We did get the infrastructure there. And there. So we're good on that. I could repay those bonds. I mean, the sooner the better. But then again, the sooner you pay them back, the sooner you uh, stifle your expansion a little bit. So that's also something to consider. Some trains are overtaking one another here, which is unfortunate. I wish they would just kind of trail behind the other train rather than just go for a dead stop. But Oh well, I'm not the game designer, so that's not up to me to decide. And uh, yeah, we just kind of keep going here, and probably we're going to put another train on this route here as well. In fact, I think we could do that right now, just we have three trains going between there. Which could be a bit floody. We'll run one like this. But uh, yeah, it should be good. Okay, so we got this train in Huainan, ready to load up on all this good stuff, and then there was this other train in Tianjin, now ready to load up on all this good stuff. And now, we have enough funds to uh, reap, oh it was just one bond, I thought we took up two, but okay, there we go. And so now, we wait for a little bit more money. And then we look for expansion opportunities. I have a few ideas of, like I want to go up here, connect that, and then kind of take it from there. So, in fact, let's just, uh, now that we have some money coming in there, we will roll the track along here. And I think along the coast is the way to go. It's going to be some non-optimal gradient, but it's not for long stretches, so I think it's fine. Uh, Shenyang here has... Uh, well, quite a lot of houses in it, actually. So let's see, we got 1, 2, 3, 6, seemingly 11, and boom times ahead. That's good. Let's slow down the speed a little bit, though. but we need to connect this. So it was 11, I said? Right, okay, then we have money enough to connect to, say, for instance, Shanghai, which has 4, 8, 9 houses. Hangzhou, maybe, could be a better option. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's exactly the same number, so they should pretty much match each other for um, uh, available passengers. A little bit tough gradient there, um, but I think we will go down this way regardless. Um, then maybe just around here. This is probably not the optimal. We should probably have gone around to these other cities, but whatever. And by that I mean through Nanjing to Changshu and then etc. Moving on that way. Uh, try to not put too many bends on your track. It's going to slow your trains down to be on these bends. But yeah, we can afford now to get a large station here and then come past every building in this city. And as soon as we can afford to actually run some trains, we will do that too. In fact, the sooner the better, so let's issue a couple of bonds sir. And then start running these tracks, uh, these trains, I mean. From Hangzhou to Shenyang. Uh, we'll go full passenger on this first one here, since there's, well, a full bunch of passengers waiting in the station. And the same goes there. So these will make good money when they hit, uh, when they hit home. As we can see, 
as soon as we leave the station. Uh, yeah, over a million, and if we do the, uh, well, around a million, and if we do the station infrastructure, 1.5 million. And when we're at the halfway point, we can probably put more trains on that line as well. I see Beijing is full. Uh, we messed up a little bit down there. Um, well, Beijing is full of passengers. So I think maybe we get, oh damn it, train 6 suffered a breakdown. Where, where did that happen? Okay, so it's not the worst place in the world it could happen, but... Yeah, so there's gonna be some breakdowns, so extra lines could be good to have. Uh, revenue's down a little bit from last year, but that's fine. Um, we're gonna see if we can get some better managers. Uh, no. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. It's just... It's just how it is. You can't really do too much about it. Um, okay, we got good money now. So what we're going to do is uh, get the station infrastructure going here. Uh, pretty much the same as the other places. And we also had Shenyang here. Now this is optional, but it does give you a good boost. Like everything you put into the stations add to your, um, uh, your equity. So, uh, I mean, it's not like you're throwing the money down the drain. It's it's going to be counting towards your end goal, which we're now at, uh, well, we've got 12 million out of 40 million, and we got less than 10 years to get the remaining uh, money. But the further into the game we get going, uh, the more we'll have to, you know, the quicker we'll be making money, basically. And, okay, it looks like we can get another train rolling. In either direction here already. So let's just do that, in fact, like so. And another one as well. I mean, sometimes they're not going to be running with full load, but it is whatever. Just setting it up like this, although there isn't a mail available here, it's only five passengers. Just so that it's ready to go and won't need any micromanagement. And now also we could run a track down here just to alleviate a little bit of pressure on the rails. And we could also, uh, we'll, we'll get to that later. It's not the main priority to do that right now, I would say. Uh, right now we need to try to optimize and get good profit from these various routes that we got going. And one more train in Tianjin could really, really be good for us. So I think we're gonna be going for that. Beijing, we're loading up again. And uh, let's get this from Tianjin. Or Tianjin to Wuhan. I think on this route it's actually better to have one mail because we're probably not always going to have such a good access to passenger. And also, as I've previously stated, you don't want to squeeze too many trains in on one stretch necessarily. Um, okay, this train's about to hit Beijing, and right now there's not going to be too much in Beijing. Another train has suffered a breakdown in Beijing area, so... Yeah, there's, there's gonna be some breakdowns, unfortunately. Right, this didn't have a bell ring yet, so uh, I kind of messed up on it. Probably that's why I messed up on it last, uh, last cycle as well. So we're gonna get various trains to pop up that we can uh, purchase from time to time. I just don't care that much though, it doesn't really matter. Looks like we can run another train from here as well. Unless, uh, where's this train going? Okay, it's going here. And it's gonna be pretty full when it gets there. Well, either way, so profits are a bit slow right now. There's a lot holding our trains up at various uh, places. But hopefully we will be able to mitigate that to some degree. Right, uh, what I'm thinking is we could construct a rail that goes through here. Uh, I don't know, I just, I kind of want something going this way along the coast here. So that the trains going across country like this won't really be going through this section of track. Potentially break, like, it, just so there's less clogging and better flow of traffic. So that uh, profits are more stably maintained. 
I think we'll actually be doing that right now. Uh, and it isn't optimal to do it, I think, but... I mean, it, it, it's not bad, but it's just like, there's, there's a little bit of give and take, no matter how you decide to play it, I feel, though. And you need to maximize, maximize profits as much and as fast as you can. And I know from experience that having um, a few extra tracks can be quite useful. Oh yeah, that just goes for full load there. Kinda wish I had a fourth train on that right now, but micromanaging it would just be a pain in the ass, so... Right, so we just connect through here. Any money we spend on track will be added to our equity value. So not too, uh, too scared of spending money on a little bit of tracks, basically. Just gonna connect that through here and I can go to Nanjing and uh, link up with these uh, rail, rail cell. And then we can get more, more rails going across the country wherever it makes sense. We can connect some of these cities over here. See what we transport where. We can connect up this city. And there are some larger cities in the area here that we can uh, also get connected. And we will get them connected. But yeah, so over here we want to connect up Nanjing. Okay, let's get a little bit more money before we do that. Go for game speed 4. Wait, what are the managers we have available right now? Yeah, nothing too useful. Although we could have had a track construction guy right now, but okay, well, what's done is done. People's Railway stock split, I don't care, no new managers. I mean, we already haven't been using that track construction price down 10-15% for all this track construction already, so... I guess we might as well just keep not using him for that. This thing in Wuhan, full load, let's go, and then we start expanding even further back here. And we should throw some trains onto this track here as soon as possible. As soon as we get these uh, cities connected up. Bloom is off the economic boom. That kind of sucks, but oh well, what are you going to do? Uh, this is not worth connecting, really. I would say. This, this is a bit of a waste project right there, I'm not gonna lie. This, I don't feel like it's optimal, but I feel like it could be good. But we only have seven years to finish the mission, so we are... Oof, could probably be spending our money a lot better on this by now. But okay, there we are. So, let's connect up Nanjing. Let's pause the damn game. And start really getting some trains onto the track, so... Okay, we got Nanjing connected. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven houses so. And here we got seven houses, so we connect this one up as well with a large station. And uh, we wait a little bit with running trains on it until we get um, more passengers available for the first trains. There's six houses so. Uh Can we find an equal town somewhere? Four, five, six, seven, depending on where you build a station, I guess, so... Hmm... Well... Okay, maybe like this? Yeah, that gets us a few buildings, or a few houses, so I think we run between those two cities. Just connect them in like this. Uh, let's just get a train running on that immediately. Oh no, I messed up. Uh, wait, what was I thinking right now? What am I doing? Where was this going? Up here, right? So, yeah. Um, right, uh, yeah. Uh, did I buy a train? I did buy a train. Okay. Well, we go from here to Nanjing, but there isn't really that much to carry right now, so we just wait a little while before doing that. What we can do is uh, issue a few more bonds. Because I just want to get the... Uh, okay, well, it seemingly was no point in that. Uh, let's get the station infrastructure going here. Telephone, large, saloon, post office, sanding, hotel, roundhouse. 
All the good stuff. We shall laugh for all of it. In every city that we construct. And in Nanjing here. Same procedure. Really wish there were more stuff available immediately that we could start transporting. We got Nanjing covered. We covered Jinan or whatever the city was called. Custom house is no point. Sanding, large hotel, roundhouse, let's go. Then we can spend a little bit of money to connect up here. Um, I think that's good. It's no 3.0 gradient stuff at least. Uh, well, I shouldn't have had that bend on the track there, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. So right, we got that connected. Um, let's check the train out real quick. There's still stuff in Jinan. Not really that much. Okay, we're just gonna start running these things like this. It's whatever. Like so. Okay, then we got a bunch more money. That's fantastic. This thing does not have a lot to can load up on, but that's fine. Uh, so we start. Getting a telephone pole, large restaurant, saloon, post office, uh, sanding tower, large hotel, roundhouse. There's no new manager site now, right? Oh, this... What's this doing? It's loaded up with trash. I must have messed up something. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I, I did mess up. I just didn't realize what I messed up. Um... But yeah, hopefully that's fixed now. We're gonna get some more trains on the on the track, so unfortunately, bloom of the economic boom also means less passengers available, which sucks. What are you gonna do? We're gonna run another train here, and it's gonna be super unoptimal. And then uh, we're gonna connect Kin uh, King Dao. Can we get all the houses up. Yep. Okay, and from there, I would like to go to hmm, some large city somewhere. Or maybe two separate cities. Like, how many houses are we talking about? There's quite a few. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And here we have 4, 8, 9. Okay, I think we can run maybe two trains to that city from these two cities, or like two cities, to that city, we just, uh, there's not that much in Changsu. We'll just uh, put a station down there, and in Shanghai we'll do the same. That's a medium enough. Yeah. Okay, then we just put a train going some way from somewhere. We need to get some of these trains rolling here, uh, between these two cities will be good. We get another train, yep, and then we get the station infrastructure going as well. Um, to a little degree, we're not really doing very long hauls here, which is a bit unfortunate, but just what it is, we're gonna get some sanding towers in on these stations. And uh, there we go. I feel like we're kind of lagging behind a little bit from where we are supposed to be, to be on par. Economy cooling, wasn't it already pretty cold? Uh, still just the same trashy managers. I feel like we're being shafted a bit on the managers in this one, to be honest, but we're halfway there on the equity. Um, and we're just going to be making more and more profits. Quicker and quicker, but it's just... Um, some of these stations don't really have a lot of stuff going on for them. Uh, in regards to how many passengers are available, but uh, we'll deal with it. Uh, large restaurant, uh, roundhouse, large hotel. There we go, and also the same here. So, telephone, large restaurant, saloon, post office, large hotel, roundhouse. Can't build all that. Okay, well, um... But that's my bad. Now we can. Okay, so let's get it done. Right, there's the stuff. 
Hope we get a new manager next year that can give us a boost to station profits or passenger profits or something meaningful like that. It's not super fun to play around with only passenger in my opinion, but um, if it gets the job done, it gets the job done. Can we make some profits real quick to get a train running here? Hmm. Yep. Okay, so let's do that. Jinan to uh, this place. Run a train like that. And actually, let's just get some bonds issued once more here and put another train on the track going the other way before I forget about it. Uh, so going down this way here. We'll just run full like this so there's no waste of anything that might be available. We got new managers available. Revenue has shot up a bit and it's going the right way. 8.5 million basically. Uh, let's check our new potential manager out here. Mail revenue 10% higher. Uh, no. Uh, well. No. This, no. None of them are really wowing me particularly much. So. Tianjin's got a lot of passenger. Uh, I'm ready to go. Shangshu here, I think we'll expand a little bit with telephone poles. Large restaurant, saloon, post office, sanding tower, roundhouse, large hotel, the whole shebangs. Then we'll put a train on it. From Changshu to over here. Like so and such. One train might be enough for that stretch. Um, Shanghai seems to be serviced properly. Hefe. What train is going to Hefe? Two trains actually, and it's very close, so I don't think we need another train on that route specifically. The session ahead, that is fantastic. Just what I need for a gold medal. Just what I wanted. Always wanted a recession in my game. Less passengers, less profit from the passengers. What's not to love? What is not to love? We're gonna start repaying some of these bonds, so. What's the balance at right now? Okay, it's gonna be kind of a struggle to actually get the gold, uh, if I'm being honest. If the game is gonna throw these wrenches in our uh, wheels. Okay, let's uh, let's put some more things on the track. Uh, from Shenyang to over here. Just get some stuff going. And get another train going the other direction. And uh, that should be making us some money. Okay, so let's repay even more bonds. Uh, let's see now, balance, so equity, 22 million, it ain't the best. Uh, Beijing, loading, well, uh, can you load again? Because this is not optimal. Have to go back to load up differently. Well, please do exactly that. Okay, we're starting to make some money. We need to expand more though and not worry too much about these bonds, so. Beijing, fully loading that. Good stuff. Hmm. We could seriously use a better manager than the one that we have right now. As you can see, the value of the goods that we're transporting has dropped tremendously in value from how it was in the start. Which makes life a bit harder for us, not gonna lie. We need to make some serious bang for the buck uh, train loads coming in sooner rather than later. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Okay, we're in Beijing where we can load up absolutely nothing. Fantastic. Can we get an economic bloom, please? That would seriously help me out. Ningbo. Can... Yeah, let's connect Ningbo. Economy crashes. Fantastic. I mean, it's just getting worse and worse. Though. We might not even be able to get the gold, actually, if it's going to be like this. That's just uh, RNG giving me the massive middle finger like it always does in every game. I love that. I love RNG as a concept. Thank fuck for the existence of that. <laughs> love that us humans uh, came up with it. So nice. Right, either way, we're going to connect uh, track up here first. 
Uh, not gonna lie, I've been playing this a bit unoptimally, but if we had better luck with the economy, we would be in a much better position right now. We only got 22 trains, we should, I don't know, in my previous playthroughs I've had like 30, 40 by now. I've just not really been doing this optimally, so I'm hoping we can win though, like we have... Another 5 or 6 years. Oh, train 15 is crashed, that's fantastic, just what I need right now. Can't even really replace it, so... That's perfect. Oh, we can place it soon enough. We can place it now, in fact. So that's the correct route. Which station? Doesn't really matter. They're both not really loaded with passengers right now. We got a station going here. And while we do that, let's uh, connect it up here. And I want to go to Ningbo, which we can go to through here, I believe. The uh, problem is this dairy mill is there, or dairy farm, or whatever. I want to bulldoze this, but that's just not going to be good for us, though. So if we look at the various stations, is there anywhere we could put another train? And yes, there is, and we will do exactly that. From uh, Shanghai to... Where was I taking the Shanghai train to again? Tangshan. Either way, we can also get one more train. Salary cut, revenue down. Such is life, I guess, when the economy goes to shit. Shenyang to Wang... Or whatever, Hangshu. Now we'll do mail, five passenger, there we go. And uh, how's this station doing? It's doing fine, I guess. Okay, so now we can repay even more for bonds, which might be a bad idea, but let's just do it anyway. We are making good money-ish. All things being considered, I suppose. And uh, yeah, I just need to find more sources of revenue. Fast. Okay, we're unloading in Hawaii now. We'll pick up six passenger, let's do that. And then this was uh, this to over here, so I want to demolish this, which is gonna mess with our equity value, but oh well. Alright, so now maybe we can expand further out here, connect this city as well. Now a large station will have to be placed here. I uh, can we pause the game real quick so we don't miss out on some of our micromanaging. Uh, where could I possibly get a station here though? Right there. Fantastic. Okay, from Ningbo. We'll run a train to... Shengshua or Zhu I don't know. These uh, Chinese names are a bit hard for me. Uh, we'll run another train the other way. As soon as we get a little bit more money, we can get some uh, infrastructure on these various stations in Beijing. It's just full load, whatever the hell we can load. And we can do the infrastructure here as well. Telephone pole, large restaurant, saloon, post office, sanding tower, large hotel, roundhouse, boom, let's go. I really want to have another manager though, that's better than what we have. But none of them are really that good at all. There are some really strong ones, and we just haven't seen any of them yet. Which is uh, discouraging, but what are you going to do? Oh hey, this hasn't loaded up uh, very optimally at all. But okay, such is life. We have one set of bonds left that I would like to repay. But for that, we do need some money. Which is about to... Uh, come in. Oh, that train did not go where I expected it to. Um, I want another train from Shenyang, as soon as I can get it going. We need more money. More money, please. Pretty, pretty, please. Send some better managers so we can actually get the gold here. 
Okay, well, we're gonna issue some more bombs then, whatever. Let's just get some trains on the... Or one more train, rather, on the... the roof, so... Shit, we could even get another, actually. As well, but okay, let's wait a little bit for that. Um, okay, we just repay the bounce again. The interest rate is insanely high right now. Economic recovery, I certainly freaking hope so. If we get a boom at some point, that would be fantastic. Okay, so if I look at various stations, uh, where are the leftover passengers that we have yet to pick up? Quite a few places, actually. I don't really have the money to get it, though, but... Alright, well, either way. Uh, we should have maybe gone a little bit more for long-haul routes than we have been doing. But there is a chance we could win unless we get shafted royally, which I feel like we're already kind of being, but... Okay, either way, we got another train on the route. Uh, on the tracks uh, from Ningbo to Shangshu. Run like that. That was the end of 62, so yeah, we're kind of cutting it closer if we're going to get that gold medal. Okay, we're in Beijing. Oh, for fuck's sake, can you just load up something in Beijing? Now we're going to have to send it back again. After it leaves with nothing, to go back and pick up the mail at the very least, please. New managers available. Company revenue is going down, but hopefully soon it will be going the opposite way. Car maintenance high. Passenger revenue 25% higher. Station revenue 5% higher. That's the one I want. That's basically plus 30% to all passenger. We just need some money to hire him, so freaking hell. Let's not waste the income of passengers coming in so we go for bonds instead and while we're at it we'll find a suitable place to throw a train on the track Hangzhou to uh, Beijing will probably be a good place um, we'll run a train like that and then there's this train in Beijing which can now load up this instead this instead and then, let's put another train from Beijing to Huangshu, maybe. Or Ningbo, I mean. Or oh, whatever. I, all these names, it's just a, a garbled mess for me. So, yeah, there you have it. Shanghai's got some potential here. Let's try to utilize that potential. Full passenger, let's go. A new jet. Does that affect anything? Predict passengers will flock from rails to air travel. Fantastic, just what I like to... Uh, just what I like to hear. So we're not really necessarily setting up viable routes to be repeating right now, but more like just profit right away type routes. Wuhan to Kikihan could be one of those routes. And the other way around. When that hits, it's going to be making serious profit. Uh, yeah. We'll set it up like this, just run it to pass and through. Okay, let's repay some bonds. And uh, yeah, we just have to wait for the money to come rolling in, hopefully. 28.7 mil now, so we need another 11 million in. About three and a half years. Which, if it keeps going like this, then we should be able to do that. Um, repay these now. Then start thinking a little bit more about station infrastructure and various stations, like here, for instance, sanding, uh, telephone, restaurant, saloon, post, roundhouse, hotel. I skipped the roundhouse then. That's whatever. Or maybe it isn't whatever, who knows. Uh, that was going to Ningbo, and in Ningbo we have uh, a lot set up. There's a lot of passengers waiting there, we might want to put up another train in that location. Right, did we repay all bonds? Okay, I think we're on a good track here. With that new manager we might be able to salvage the gold. 
Uh, we'll go from Ningbo to over here. Let's just do um, a train like this. Uh, that's not going to do. Uh, so anywhere where we can run something from right now. Xiaoshuang to Ningbo maybe. I feel like that could be a good one to set up. Right, now it's just pure profit. We don't need any bonds anymore. And okay, let's get the uh, roundhouse here. We could maybe... Is this train going over there? Shangshu, yeah, so it's about to pick up some more stuff there. Uh, let's just keep expanding. No reason to just sit on the money. Medium station here should suffice. And okay, so there's some breakdowns, like, you get a breakdown, it's holding up the lines tremendously, but at least it's not also holding up this line or whatever, like, it's limited what it will be holding up due to us having several lines kind of crisscrossing the country right now. So in here, let's get telephone pole large, uh, restaurant, saloon, post office, sanding tower, large hotel, roundhouse, all that good stuff. And here we have uh, about six or seven houses. So we could run that to, um, I don't know, this this place is doing okay, I guess. Just waiting for something to come pick things up. Uh, Sushu, maybe, could be an option. But instead, I think we'll run something through here. Uh, medium station would be good enough. We can't afford everything that I want in there, but we should be able to soon. Economy's back on track, fantastic. That's gonna help us get that gold. We need another eight million in like four years, three or four years. I think we're good to get it. We'll get it, we'll get it. Now with this manager and the economy recovering, I think we're good. And if the game crashes upon right before me getting the gold medal again, I'm gonna throw a temper tantrum and probably throw my computer out the window. Because <laughs> that is getting old real fast. It got old the second and third time, and the first time, to be honest, so if it happens again, I'm just not going to be very happy. If it happens again, we're going to just say that we got gold, and we're going to move on. Because we did get gold, but the game crashed, and I'm not dealing with this scenario a fifth fucking time. I don't really enjoy it enough to do that. Either way, from here to there, and uh, something like this. And we set up a train doing pretty much the exact same, but the opposite direction. And, uh, let's see... Sushu has five houses, is there any towns around we could connect to Sushu? I mean, there's that town over there, I guess. Uh, you know what, I think we're good. Like, yeah, we, we should be able to do this. We just, uh, what we do, we just pour on some more trains onto the tracks. Run some long-haul passengers from wherever to wherever, basically. Like this, for instance. Pow. We just, we don't need these to go, like, make a return trip. We just need these to make a trip to begin with. So, long haul as fuck. And let's, uh, let's get it going. So when they hit the stations, they're gonna be making so much money, it's... We're gonna be pushing over that, uh, threshold for gold. Right. Something like that. And uh, let's put another train on the tracks as well, going from somewhere else, some passengers, maybe Beijing, yes, Beijing, to Yejuang, like that, and uh, 42 is the answer to the universe, maybe that's the answer to how many trains we should be using as well. Uh, this train here is loading up in Beijing right now, let's uh, fix the... Load it will carry a little bit. There we go. I think we're good. I think we don't really need to do too much more now. People's Railway stock is split. Revenue 13 and a half million last year. So yeah, we're on, we're on the right track. If we get only half that, we should be 
gonna up the speed a little bit here and we can just kind of pan across our railroad for now. Let's not even bother with these. We'll just uh, put them on automated as well. No micromanaging whatsoever anymore. We'll just have a quick pan over our network. Which we're making serious cash here now and we uh, will soon be done. We might be able to win this within 10 years passing. Uh, we might have reached the threshold. We need 800,000 more. And that's 800,000 more, I'm pretty sure. So, there we go. There we go. The gold medal is ours. Just want the clapping to die down there. So, well, we had to 62. We started in 1950 or something, and we had to 1962. 13 years. Uh, so we did it in less than 10. So yeah, I'm uh, pretty happy with those results. Sir. Finally, I actually got the gold medal without the game crashing, so we can move on. Victory of victories, the people of China are pleased and very proud to have a leader such as you. Additionally, you made a number of capitalist nations take notice. Your performance provided inspiration to a skeptical world. Yeah, we're gonna keep playing the current game. Let's have a quick look at our railroad tracks, sir. So, I mean... Yeah, 42 trains running just randomly across, sir. Our profits are going to break down now because I haven't set up sustainable routes. I've just set up sustainable... I mean, we're still going to be making money. Like, we can keep going for another 10 years. We're going to have so much money coming in. But uh, we're going to be making less profits because I've kind of tanked the profitability of some of the routes just to push for the gold medal. Oh, look at how ineffectively I built this. There we go. Yeah, I mean, we got it. It's good, uh, good to go. We got some trains running across. I just basically expand, 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 and I think alleviating some of our tracks with uh, potential breakdown issues by having a second track running through China here. This one, in addition to this, uh, has been useful. Not as useful as it could have been, but useful nonetheless. Now let's see here. Revenue, 15 million. Okay, well, it's going the right way. So either way, I think we're going to end it here. Uh, thank you for watching. If you did like the episode, I would appreciate if you would consider leaving a like on it. Um, you know, maybe to celebrate the overcoming of my serious displacement of this map due to all these damn crashes. And me not really even liking this scenario in the first place because it's just boring passenger stuff. Either way, <laughs> it is what it is. So yeah, have a good one. You can catch me in the next one.